What's going on guys? God bless you. It is a chilly morning today actually. Um, it is a chilly morning but we are working on my wife's... Uh, we're working on a Corolla today. Um, so... I was, I was just about to go get them. <laughs> I gotta re now I gotta redo this whole video again. Okay, hey, also, nice. hey. What's going on, guys? God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I am so excited and finally ready to be talking about my brand new steamer uh, that I purchased on a Black Friday. Today, we are going to be talking about the Chief steamer 100 i'm gonna give you guys my honest feedback how have i enjoyed it have i liked it is this something i recommend we're gonna be talking about the price as well right um but i'm super excited because i'm finally ready uh to really give you guys my honest feedback what i like about it what i don't like about it so it is a cold one today we're gonna be working on the toyota corolla uh, and my son also as always cannot be inside if i'm out here He's going to be out here. So uh, let's get all set up and I'll start giving you guys some information on this Chief Steamer. So when it comes to the Chief Steamer, guys, this is how it comes out. You have a pressure gauge. This is the port to where um, you're going to connect your pressure, uh, your pressure, your steamer, right? This is a uh, adjustment valve or knob to where you're able to increase and decrease your steaming pressure, right? Next, obviously, this is the power uh, section. This is where you turn on your steamer on and off, as well as you have a green light indicator and you also have a red light indicator, which says H2O, which this just means that if you're ever out of water, this red light comes on and it lets you know that it's time to refill your steamer as we pan over to the right side obviously you have your vent section obviously this just keeps the heat from building up inside as well you have this nice slick logo that a lot of you guys have asked me about and you have the back side here is your cord to wrap your cord around and you have your 2.5 liter um water reservoir or little water tank right um so this is kind of the overlook of the chief steamer which i have really really enjoyed what comes out of the box when you open your chief steamer obviously i will say out of the box presentation is amazing uh, it comes well packaged right but out of the box what you're going to be getting or when you buy your chief steamer is one obviously the main component right you're going to be receiving your chief steamer you're also going to be receiving attachments to go with your chief steamer one of the attachments is the uh, triangle upholstery brush right you're also going to be receiving um two of your uh, nozzles which is one is a three uh, it's a three like a splitter if that makes sense and let me see if the camera will kind of catch that it has three little holes which is very interesting um, comes with one of these and it also comes with your um, kind of your turbo nozzle right it comes with uh, it has uh, only one nozzle uh, and this is what a lot of us detailers will be using uh, to detail vehicles add-ons that come with this package right is obviously you're also going to be getting not add-ons but other um, tools uh, that comes with the chief steamer is you get these two heads these are like boar hair i believe uh, these are perfect what i would use them for is probably uh, steam cleaning leather right because it has a very soft soft brush you also have two of their hard bristles these are pretty stiff so you get two of these as well so this is more for maybe agitation right if you want to agitate seats and all that uh, you can definitely use this it comes with uh, two 
of your small ones as well and it comes with two of your boar hair small um, uh, heads as well right and it comes with one uh, one of your um, I would call these like for your grill to clean your grills like this is what I would use to clean like my grill uh, and you also have this little one right here which uh, I think it's like to remove stickers so let me bring it in really quick I think it's like to remove stickers um, let me see there you go so it has this uh, and I guess you kind of just like scrape your windows to remove stickers off of there aside from there you also have this window cleaner it has a nice squeegee and i haven't used this one this is probably items i won't use just because i just don't use it a lot maybe here at home but honestly my chief steamer stays in the truck um and lastly you're also going to be receiving this big big bulkhead right here um this one's like a mop style um so that you can use in-home use as well. One of the things of the Chief Steamer, it is, this is a commercial grade steamer. So this is made to put in work, right? Uh, so it has a lot of good benefits. This one, I would probably use it if I'm doing like a minivan and I need to have that extra like scrubbing power. I would probably use this on a, on a minivan. But that is all the stuff that comes with your Chief Steamer. And also you get your um your hose you get your steamer hose which i gotta say i believe this is 12 foot long 12 feet uh so that is one of the plus that is part of the cheese steamer is you get a 12 foot extension hose uh so that is that is amazing right um it also comes obviously with your um with your nozzle head and obviously when i received my uh, chief steamer guys it came with two of your uh, single turbo nozzles uh, instead of coming with your your with this three one three splitter one um, i honestly don't know what this one's for but honestly now that i think about it and i have used it i think it's better to use this with your attachments because the steam is going kind of to the side and not strictly direct down um so i think that's what it's for but i don't know i have used it but i really don't know what this is for um honestly i've never owned a steamer in this grade a steamer in this price which the price on this steamer uh, i purchased it on black friday was a thousand forty nine dollars actually it was a little bit more because i didn't use the discount that they had um but i will say uh at the time of this purchase i purchased it for 1049 right but since i didn't use the discount um i will say the customer service level was amazing because the following day i had somebody from the company literally email me and said hey carlos i've added the discount that you didn't use uh towards your purchase so that was really cool is seeing um just the customer service on that side seeing that you didn't use their discount so they went ahead and kind of uh, added it for you so that was really really cool so um so thank you to the um the company to chief uh for seeing that and honestly i'm i'm a person that i really don't care about discounts i'm more of i want to support them um and i just didn't use the code sometimes i just get lazy and i don't want to type it in um but thank you so much to chief uh to the company uh for adding that uh discount on there so i got it for a thousand and forty nine dollars so that is what it comes with uh but now uh let's talk a little bit obviously as we're cleaning uh this vehicle we're going to talk about specs and all of that it takes about 10 minutes for this steamer to heat up which is very quick um while this heats up usually i'm kind of organizing getting stuff ready um for the project right uh so 10 minutes for heat up which is amazing um, as far as the amps, this is pulling about 14.5 amps. Um, so you want to have something powerful enough to really pull the power. I'm using the max speeding rod uh, inverter, uh, which is 5,000 watts. And I have it connected to just one, um, one outlet. And it's done really, really well. I haven't seen uh, the breaker trip or anything like that or see um, underperformance on this machinery with this 5,000 watt inverter. Um, so definitely you want to have enough power uh, to pull your chief uh, steamer but 
Usually, the first thing I tend to do is I will turn this on without the nozzle just so that I can get all the water out, all of that out of the system uh, before I put, uh, I call it the turbo nozzle or the jet nozzle, right? Now that we have the steam going full blown, now I will go ahead and connect my, uh, my nozzle. All this stuff feels really, really good on the hand. It feels durable. So that's one of the things I did like about it or love about it is that when you get it, you definitely can see that you're, you're getting stuff that is well built. Um, another plus I enjoyed on the steamer was um, the trigger is very sensitive so you can barely tap it and you're getting steam already. Look at that. That is so nice. <laughs> so there is steam, there is power. One of the things I didn't like or I don't like that I have to get used to is, is this part right here. Is after you pull your trigger, you let it go and this steam st keeps coming out. Uh, that's one of my things that I don't like. I know it's minimal, but for me, I just, it just, I don't know. I just don't like it. Um, I honestly feel that for the, for the price, this thing should stop faster than a Ferrari. <laughs> but I mean, it is very, very minimal. Um, so, but that is one of the things that I just can honestly say, like, I wasn't too happy about. But again, that is very, very minimal to the performance. Uh, so here we have the 12 foot steaming hose, which is, is just a plus. I just love this because one, you don't have to be carrying this everywhere. This 12 feet is gonna work just perfect. So, which is just amazing. Uh, as far as on the steamer, that is a uh, stainless steel all around. Everything is just well built uh, with this machinery. One of the questions um, that I'm sure is gonna get asked is, Carlos, is this worth it? Is this machine worth it? Now, what really made me buy this product was, I've been in this business for just quite some time already, right? And I've been eyeing this product. I just never knew, um, when was going to be the time to pull the trigger. Um, and I pulled the trigger when my Aqua Pro kind of gave up on me one day. The water was no longer coming out of the gun. And I'm going to be very honest, it probably could have been an easy fix. But in that moment, it was more of a, a decision of, all right, what is your next step? Right? And if you've been following the channel, we started with the... Um, Harbor Freight Steamer, which is probably by far, in my opinion, the best steamer for $100 for a beginner, right? After that one, um, I moved up to the Wagner, the orange one, the uh, orange steamer, which was my favorite. Great pressure, right? We're bumping up on price. I think that one was $150. One, one and uh, then I did another product review on another Wagner. I think it was the yellow one, um, which I enjoyed, but there were just some things on that one that I was just like, you know, I wasn't too happy. It didn't have some attachments to it, um, which I think were are vital in our business. So for that one, I ended up giving it away. Um, and then we moved up to the Aqua Pro, right? And the Aqua Pro for the price, it is definitely, uh, amazing it's an amazing machine uh, but it literally broke down on me I think if for, for I think I use it for about a year and a half um, obviously it put in work so I will say it was putting in work um, I think the components were starting to fail like the knob was starting to like not unscrew I replaced the seals on it and you know it just wasn't working for me so in that moment I had to think what do I want to do next do I need to buy another aqua pro or do I want to upgrade right so 
honestly in that moment this happened during black during the the black friday month uh month um, and i was like you know what let me just pull the trigger and i ended up getting the chief steamer now i don't recommend this machinery to those who are just starting for the reason that this machine is definitely a lot of money if you don't have the finances for this machinery uh i don't recommend you get it right off the bat my honest feedback is save up uh, as much as you can uh, save up as much as you can before you buy it right before you pull the trigger on this machine i always say just put some money to the side from every project uh, and then when you have the money for it, then get it. Trust me, if you're doing a lot of detail or details or interiors like I do, this machine is a no-brainer. It, it will pay off in just weeks um, because you're putting in a lot of work, you're putting the money aside, and it's gonna, it, it's gonna pretty much, you're gonna get your money back very, very quickly, right? But if you're just a detailer that just started and you don't have the finances, that is where I say, don't buy it. But if you are a detailer who has been doing this for a while and you do have the finances, I would definitely buy it. it I feel like it's definitely a great investment in your business. So one of the things that was bothering me as I kept using this machine over and over again is that the gun, obviously you have 12 feet of hose, right? So you have 12 feet of hose and what that creates is weight, right? And what I ended up doing on my steamer is, let me show you, is after using it for a good couple of, of you know weeks and all that, I started realizing that I didn't like one, that when i was working like on trucks obviously the weight of this of this hose and everything was pretty much coming off the trucks right or the cars or it was falling to the floor so one of the things i didn't like was i don't want like my my gun to just keep hitting the floor over and over and over again so what i ended up doing is i went on amazon and started looking for something that could probably help in that scenario and what i ended up doing guys is i bought this um this thing here which i don't know what it's called but i promise there will be a link in the description of this tool here which i have really fallen in love with it's amazing to have and it helps you can use it in many scenarios not just for your steamer but what this does is it clips to like your belt so there it goes so now let me bring the camera down just a little bit so now the gun is always above so it's never um touching the ground and I just got used to um, obviously from working at the car wash I always carry my bottles like if you got this is always on me a bottle is always on me and I kind of thought of that same scenario so you buy this this clip and all it does it just clips onto your to your pants it doesn't come off like it locks right so every time you need it it's easy to just put it on there right obviously this is something i did you don't have to do it but at least it keeps this um off of the ground right and as you're walking and everything your gun your gun is staying on you right one of the benefits that i love about the steamer is it has wheels so it is literally movable it will follow you around um the only thing is i wish it had was uh locking mechanisms because sometimes we're working in driveways and your steamer is kind of rolling down the driveway um, but it would be really cool if they added maybe a um, like a locking mechanism on them uh, that way you know it doesn't roll down and it stays wherever uh, it is but that's just one of the other things that i kind of saw and kind of rolled that i was like i wish it had this um, again the reason i'm saying i wish it had is because for the amount of money you're paying for a product especially in this scenario like a thousand dollars this is not cheap right i think there's a lot of things that can be perfected not in the machine itself maybe as on the exterior or aesthetically 
um, I think that would be really cool is to have a locking mechanism on the wheels. Another safety that I love about the Chief Steamer is if you are not using your Chief Steamer uh, after about like 30 minutes, uh, the machine will pretty much go to like a uh, sleep mode. That's just to um, kind of protect uh, the pump and all that or the boiler which is really really cool so that way you know that it's not just running and running and running and eventually like just dying on you right um, but that is another key feature that I have enjoyed is when I'm not using it it will just go into sleep mode uh, and then obviously once you pull the trigger on your gun it pretty much wakes up and it's ready to go one of the last tools I want to showcase is his, uh, is their upholstery tool, right? Uh, this one has the um, mechanism to swivel, right? So whenever you're cleaning like your carpets and all that, you're able to have that um, mobility on your tool and then you're able to move it up one and now it locks, right? Uh, it locks your mechanism um, really, really well. So that way it just stays in one, uh, in one place. Aside from that, another benefit to this whole tool here is that it has these two points of contact. So for those detailers who love to do the dry upholstery method, uh, for those who love to use like a towel and wrap it around it, you're able to do that as well. One of the things I tend to um, do in the near future, I just have to do my research and hopefully I don't get in trouble or voice my warranties, is I would love to see this um, I don't think I've seen any other company, so uh, I would add a third point of contact on this tool here. Um, that way you have three points of contact and it's even better for us detailers when using like a microfiber towel. For me, I tend to use more of a, um, like a drying style. So I'm gonna probably gonna be cutting up my drying towels, uh, the ones that I don't use anymore because they're thicker. And for me, the thicker the, the towel is, the better it is for agitation or for drying or you know steam cleaning. Uh, but I would love a three point of contact, right? So, and what I mean by that is that way, uh, I'm, I use bigger towels, right? So one towel, one corner is gonna clip to this middle one here, right? And then you're gonna be able to grab this corner here and you have your second point of contact, right? And then you're gonna have your other towel clip here, right? And so kind of what I'm going for is something like this. I would love to see um, an upholstery tool such as this um, have a third point of contact, right? To where you're able to clip your third towel. And now when you're steam cleaning, you know, your towel is not just flopping everywhere, right? So that's one of the things I tend to add to this is that third point of contact uh, that way it just everything just stays in place if that makes sense and another amazing part of this steamer is that once you are low with your water guess what you don't have to turn this uh, steamer off because it is a continuous refill so I can literally just open this up safely you know, you don't feel like this is gonna burst out with that steaming water that a lot of us get burned on once in our lives, right? You can literally just open this up, fill it up with tap water, which that just means savings. Uh, they recommend that with this steamer, you do not use distilled water or, uh, you know, just regular water. So that is even a plus. It has its filter here as well to filter out anything. So for that is another um, reason why I have enjoyed uh, the steamer is because I don't have to um, I don't have to stop the machine to refill it. All right, and to conclude this video, the warranty you get three years of a limited internal warranty and you get a lifetime warranty on your boiler and your heater. Final thoughts on this product. I am very happy with the purchase, how it has performed uh, since I purchased it. Um, do I recommend this to other detailers? The answer to that is yes. I recommend that if it is within your finances, right? They do offer a payment plan. So for those who would like to put it in a payment plan, you can definitely do that. And I believe they are through a firm, um, or I could be wrong. 
but I think it's they are through a firm. So you are able to put this on a payment plan, right? And if you can afford it, put it on a payment plan, just pay it off in, in those payments that it requires. Um, obviously, sometimes there is a little bit of interest to that. So if it is within your finances and you're like, you know what, I can do this. Trust me, you are going to make your money back on this thing very, very quickly. Like you guys know, I love interiors and this thing has definitely changed the game for me and my business. We're a little bit quicker. We have power. We have everything I need in a, in a steamer, right? Um, but again, it's an amazing product. I can't complain. I'm very happy with the purchase. So I hope today's video kind of showcased to you guys a little bit of this product. I know you guys have been waiting for it. I'm sorry it took me a long time. But as always, thank you so much for watching. God bless you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.